Okay, so now we have another chart in order to analyze the part to whole using the tree map. We usually work with the tree maps in order to show the hierarchical data inside our data sets. So let's see how we can build that. Let's first start with the marks. Let's go and switch it to squares. The next step, we're going to go to the sales and we're going to put it on the size. With that, we got one blue square for the total sales inside our data. Now, of course, we want to go and split this square to multiple informations. And here we're going to work with the hierarchy of the products. So let's start with the first dimension, the category. Let's drag and drop it to the colors and as you can see we already got now a tree map so the colors of the tree map is decided from the category and the size of those blocks gonna be decided from the sales now of course in this tree map we want to represent the hierarchy so the next dimension gonna be the subcategory but this time we will not move it to the colors we will move it to the details so let's go and do that so now as you can see each of those blocks are divided to more blocks where we have the subcategory informations so that's means the data will keep splitting in the tree map the more dimensions we add from the hierarchy so for example let's go and grab the product name and let's put it to the details and now we can see that we have a lot of mini blocks that represent the product name so with that we have represented our hierarchy of the product in a visual in a tree map and we can see that each category for example the red is split into multiple subcategories and each subcategory is split furthermore to a products but of course the disadvantage here is that the more details you add the harder going to be to read this visualization so i don't recommend you to go with the product name in such a visualizations it should be enough with the category and the subcategory and of course like any other charts in our visualizations we can have multiple tree maps in one view by adding adding a dimension to either columns or rows like for example let's go and get the order date to the rows and with that we got multiple tree maps split it by the years which is really useless to have such a visualization so let's go and remove it Okay, so now we're going to talk about the heat map. It is like a matrix where you have colors inside it. And we usually use it in order to do colorations between two categories. So let's see how we can build that. We need two categories. That means we need two dimensions. So let's say the first one going to be the country. Let's drag and drop it to the columns. And then the second dimension going to be, for example, the subcategory. Let's drag and drop it to the rows. And with that, we got our matrix. Let's switch to entire view. So we have rows, we have columns. Now, what is missing of course is our measure the data so now in order to create the effect of the heat map we're going to take the sum of sales and let's put it to the colors and now with that we got our heat map and we can see from the colors the coloration between the countries and the subcategories where we can see immediately that the highest sales where we have the dark color so for example we have high sales from the country france and as well from the subcategory phones and the lowest sales we can see it for example here in the envelopes and Italy where here we can see again the power of visualizations where we can read now the trends and the colorations between our data which is way better than having only numbers but of course if we want to add some numbers in this matrix we can go to the labels over here show marks and if you want to make it to the middle let's go to the alignments and let's make everything in the middle so that's it as you can see it's really simple and this is how we can create heat map in tableau